Hi everyone, prepare to pray, prepare to intensify in prayer, and prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. This video will bless you greatly. Stay connected to it, and God bless you. There are three dimensions of wealth. The first dimension of wealth has to do with transacting value. Are we together now? You transact value and you receive rewards in exchange. The second level has to do with the blessings that come from transforming lives. You don't sell that value. You give it free. The rewards that come is the appreciation from the lives changed. But the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by prophecy. That God is able to activate possibilities in the life of a man. It says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. It says, believe in his prophets. Was it not the prophet that said, by this time, tomorrow? Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Your words are powerful and we're going to be making declarations in the name of jesus isaiah 43 and verse 26 it says put me in remembrance let us plead together it says declare thou that ye might be justified we are going to make some declarations in the name of Jesus that you will take the word of God and put it on the lips of faith. Do not let the devil make you feel you are making noise. Whether it is over your business or your family. Is someone ready to speak? Open your mouth and begin to speak God's word. I decree and declare that I am the head and not the tail. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter please declare unto the perfect day i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising for my shame i receive double in the name of jesus where i have been deserted so that no man pass through me i become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations program your realities in the spirit a thousand shall fall by my right ten thousand by my right hand none shall harm me with my eyes shall i behold and see the reward of the wicked i decree and declare that i love righteousness and hate wickedness therefore god even my god hath anointed me with an oil of gladness above my fellows in the name of jesus the christ of god hallelujah hallelujah we have five more minutes and we're done exodus 3 21 the spirit of god is still taking me back to that scripture and the lord is saying that one of the things that most of us need here is the favor of god upon our lives read it together and we're going to pray this please i like you when it's time to pray don't don't worry about who is by at your left or right i like you to pray from the depth of your heart and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that from today as I go I shall not go empty lift your voice and begin to prophesy as I go as I go as I go spiritually as I go financially I shall not go empty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Shalanda kapraska paruta shalakatos ebrakete sobari sasadiata as I go spiritually as I go financially I shall not
cannot go empty. My bands are full with corn, with wine and oil. Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev we are going to pray now listen listen this is the last prayer point and then I speak over your life you are going to challenge every mountain that has stood before you listen you are a priest now don't be silent you're going to lift your voice are we together atmosphere challenges by name in the name of Jesus your power is broken over my life prayerlessness lack of resources disfavor someone is engaging the realm of the spirit change shift redirect reorder who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? In the name of Jesus, you become a plain land. In the name of Jesus, you become a plain land. In the name of Jesus, you become a plain land. to speak over your life and I want you to believe it so that you will return back home knowing that I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of you don't find this in a bank you don't find this in a lecture hall there are things you only find in the house of God I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the Son of God every door that has refused to open over your destiny i come tonight by the anointing of the spirit i speak to that door be opened now be opened now please help them be opened now be opened now hear me I place an unction upon your head that from this morning service I declare carry on common grace wonder walking grace listen I don't know who has been experiencing delay in this place that the only thing growing in your life is your age every other thing has refused to grow but I stand here in the name of Jesus I declare to you receive speed 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 spiritually receive speed financially receive speed I accelerate your results by the power of the Holy Ghost
anyone trusting God for a job here in the next three months I stand by the spirit of prophecy I speak to you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God return with your testimony return with your testimony hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I want to call the helpers of your destiny I prophesy to the north of Port Harcourt, the south of Port Harcourt, east and west whoever must show up in your life and hold your hands to the next level I compel them to appear in your destiny finally let me speak over your finances there is a bird that can bring bread for Elijah at Brook Cherries. Listen. There are three dimensions of wealth. The first dimension of wealth has to do with transacting value. Are we together now? You transact value and you receive rewards in exchange. The second level has to do with the blessings that come from transforming lives you don't sell that value you give it free the rewards that come is the appreciation from the lives changed but the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth wealth by prophecy that God is able to activate possibilities in the life of a man he says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he says believe in his prophets was it not the prophet that said by this time tomorrow I want to speak over someone's life in the name of Jesus the son of the living God before this year 2020 comes to an end I stand by the God who sent me and I speak over your life may your finances change in a way that will surprise you and I also pray for your spiritual life whatever has destroyed your prayer life your passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your life fresh fire upon your life fresh hunger for the word fresh hunger for prayer fresh hunger for the house of God fresh hunger for service in the name of Jesus Christ he who was the Son has eternal life. He who was the Son has eternal life. Oh. I have the Son, so I have eternal life. He who was the Son. Go ahead and pray. Holy, holy. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Out. Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Capren de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second. In Terekaba. So close. Kepari. Kepros. Kepos. Kepos. Let her go now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus. Break every chain out of her now. Now. 
Come out of her right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Listen. Many of you don't know why. Listen. Hear me. Please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people at the workings of these wicked spirits. Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So, don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance You really believe A lady will have this strength Three people holding her Wickedness is real Leave her alone On your knees and out of her Quickly just leave her On your knees and out of her In the name of the Lord Jesus Watch the power of faith all of you Watch just no, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are going. I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will whip her. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families, is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirit. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of, many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hold you up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside. And many people will be delivered right now. At the count of three. Are you ready? Thank you, Father. Let your fire move right now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Spirit husband, spirit wife, demons of darkness, ancestral forces. Go, 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 go. Serpents. Scorpions, marine spirits, out, 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 out.
out, out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. For all these people outside, I'm speaking to the spirits now. At the count of three, the fire of God burns you out of these people. Every spirit, hear my voice. I speak from the realm of the spirit right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling, falling. Yeah, yeah. I hear the chains. I give the chase. Oh, she I give the chase. I give the chase. 
Now listen. Listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming. Don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel... Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of blood substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Heal. Close up now. Hallelujah. 